So hello and welcome. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can parent object to another. So there are a couple of ways and we are going to uh, be looking at the normal parenting and then the parenting with the expression. So I have created a basic stage 920 by 1080 and I'm going to create some shape. So I will go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to choose rectangle. And then you can go ahead and uh, choose your color. So I can go with uh, blue for example and I can get rid of the stroke by uh, taking it to the zero. And I'm going to draw some shape with the shift uh, to be proportional. Then I will go to the selection tool and I will click on my shape. And you can see if you click on the shape that there is an anchor point and the anchor point is in the center. And I don't like it so I just want to move the anchor point. So I will go to the pan behind tool with, which is this tool or the shortcut is Y and I am going to move the anchor point. And I am going to be holding control uh, to snap it to the center like so. All right. And uh, right now what I am going to do is I am going to duplicate the shape. So I will go on the shape layer one and I am going to click control D which is going to duplicate it. I will go to the selection tool and I am going to move it like so. And I will go to the fill color and I will change the color to maybe red. All right. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, rename them. So I'm going to go to the layer, hit enter and this one is going to be blue. And this one is going to be red, like so. All right. And uh, now what I want to do is, uh, is parent the red to the blue. And there are a couple of ways how you can parent this. Uh, the first way is go to this little icon and uh, the, it's like parent pick whip and uh, you can click and drag it to your blue layer like so and it is going to parent. And you can see that in here there is a text and before there was a none and now it is blue which means that uh, the red is parented to the blue. I can click on this arrow and there are options none, uh, red which is uh, which is grayed out because this layer is red so we can't parent the layer to itself and then, then there is the blue and if we had more layers there would be a more layers in here and the same thing is for the blue you can parent the blue to the and you can't parent it to the red because red is parented to the blue but if I got rid of this you could parent this to the red but I want to parent my red to the blue like so and now uh, if I go to the blue and I'm going, uh, for example, I will hit R for the rotation and I'm going to rotate my blue, my red is going to be rotating with my, uh, with my blue. If I'm going to hit S for the scale, it is going to scale down. If I'm going to hit P for the position, it is going to uh, move with my, with my blue one. And uh, right now, uh, one thing, uh, blue is not parented to the red, only red is parented to the blue. So if I go ahead, for example, and I'm going to scale the red by clicking S and scaling this down, it is not going to affect the blue. And the same thing for the position and the rotation and so on. Uh, one thing uh, is that uh, position uh, scale rotation is going to be affected by the parent but the transparency is not and I do not really know why this is but if I'm going to get my opacity of the blue to the zero it is not going to affect the red one so just to be aware of this and uh, right now uh, something that we can do for example uh, we can go ahead and go to the blue hit R for the rotation uh, create the keyframe then we can move to maybe uh, 10 seconds and we can rotate it like so a couple of times. Okay, and if I go ahead and play this, we are going to have an animation like this. And maybe this would be uh, better with the oval, like the planet, planets are going around, but it doesn't matter. And uh, one more thing that we can do is, for example, animate the position. So I'm going to hold shift and hit P. And I was holding shift to uh, keep the rotation and to reveal the position. 
and I will click the keyframe for the position. I will go to this keyframe, uh, hold shift to snap to this keyframe and I am going to uh, move it like so. And right now we are going to have a uh, rotation uh, around and at the same time it is going to be moving from left to the right, like so. All right. So uh, this is the one way and this is like the, the normal parenting and I'm going to get rid of this. And then there is another way which is going to be parenting by expression. And I'm going to show you. So uh, one more time I'm going to create some shapes. I'm going to create a shape like this and I will get my uh, anchor point by hitting Y to the center and holding Ctrl or Command on the Mac. I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl D, and with my shift I'm going to move it to stay on the same line. And I will change this to blue, for example, to distinguish. And again, this is going to be red and this is going to be blue. All right. And uh, right now, imagine that uh, this red shape and this blue shape are, I don't know, uh, wheels of the car. And we would like to animate one and then uh, make the blue one do the same thing as the red one. Uh, the problem with normal parenting, and I am actually going to get my red up. This is not necessary, just uh, for me, it's a little bit better visually. So I, if I go ahead and parent my uh, red to the blue, and I would uh, hit R on the blue and try to rotate it, the red is going to be rotating around the blue. And we do not want to do this, and I would like to uh, get this to the none. But one thing that we can do is uh, we can open rotation for both of them. And you can see that there is uh, this uh, icon for the parenting also on the rotation. And it is actually if you open your transform uh, on all of them, on, on, the, on the opacity, rotation, scale and so on. And the thing is that uh, if I go ahead right now and open rotation on both of them and I would parent the rotation of the blue to the rotation of the red like so, you can see that the rotation of the blue is going to change the color to the, to the red, which means that there is some expression. And if I go ahead and open the rotation, uh, you can see the expression in here, which we can talk about uh, later on in this video. But the thing is right now that uh, if I go ahead and rotate the red like so, the blue is going to do the same. And I think that the, this is pretty cool. And the same thing uh, we can do for the scale, for example. So I'm going to open the scale for both of them. And with the normal parenting, I just want to show you uh, the scale. Ah, this is going to mess it up a little bit. But with the with the normal parenting, the scale would go from the, the anchor point of the parent. And with uh, this one, if I parent the, the blue scale to the red scale, if I uh, scale the red down, the blue is going to be scaling from its anchor point. All right. And uh, if you want to get to your expressions on the blue one, you can hit uh, U uh, double times, U, U, and it is going to open uh, both of the expressions, like so. All right, so uh, I can I can go ahead and explain you uh, these expressions, but uh, but let me let me do it uh, like this. I will hit R for the rotation, and uh, I will hit, click Alt on the on the stopwatch to get rid of the to get rid of the expression and the same thing for the scale. So I will hit S and if you uh, with Alt click on the scale, you are going to get rid of the expression. And I would like to show you this uh, differently. All right. So let me let me scale the red uh, to the 100 like so. I have reset it, the, the scale of the red. I will hit R for the rotation and I'm going to reset the rotation. So we are uh, as, we, uh, as we were at the beginning and uh, 
we can go ahead and uh, pattern it like so. This is like the easier way. Or what we can do, uh, I didn't want to do this. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, click with Alt on the on the rotation of the of the blue. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac and I will click on the rotation and it is going to open me the expression and I still have the option to to parent this like so. And right now if I either this one or this one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to parent it like so. And it is going to write the expression directly in here. And now we can talk about the expression. And it is the same thing if I if I go back and I will hit R. And I'm not going to get this one, but I will get this one. It is going to write the same, same expression. All right. And uh, oh, let me go back. Alt and this one. So yeah, it is the same. And uh, we have this comp, which refers to the to this composition. If, if we want to parent to, uh, to something which is in the different composition, we would have to use the name of the different of the of the composition. Uh, then we have the layer, which is just that we are going to parent this to some layer. Then we have the name of the layer which I can show you that if I go ahead and change, so I will change this to red one, for example, it is going to change the name automatically. So this comp, this composition, uh, some layer, name of the layer in the parentheses, then we had the dot, transform, and type of the transform. Uh, right now it is rotation. If I go ahead and open the, the scale, S, S, and I would click uh, with Alt on the scale and I would parent it like so. We would have the almost same thing, this comp, layer, name of the layer, transform, and then the type of the transform. All right, the same thing, ah. uh, same thing for the position, 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 Alt click, parent like so. And we have the same thing, but uh, after the transform, we have position. So yeah, uh, this was a quick tutorial, and this is how you can uh, how you can parent in the in the After Effects. All right. And uh, maybe uh, one more thing that I'm going to show you. I will get rid of all of this, and uh, the parenting is uh, useful uh, for some uh, character animation. And uh, very quickly, I can uh, create something like this, some kind of body. Uh, then uh, make sure that nothing is selected and maybe a leg like this, a leg like this. And I'm doing this uh, really, really quickly. So forgive me for this uh, art. Uh, hand like this, hand like this, for example, and then uh, maybe some kind of uh, some kind of head like so all right and the thing is that uh, uh, you would use parenting uh, for the character animation to parent uh, this one I will I would call the body so I'm going to hit enter and this is going to be body and I would parent all of them uh, to my body but I would uh, I would have to change the anchor point, but I would uh, parent this hand to the body like so, this hand to the body, uh, this leg and this leg and also the head. Basically everything I would I would uh, parent to the body, and now I can uh, move the body, and everything is going to be moving with it. And by parenting uh, like this, you can build up the character. But it's like a much more complex topic and there are some plugins for this and so on. I just wanted to show you like when you have more than two layers that you can parent many, many layers to one layer and so on. And uh, okay, but yeah, this is it. Hopefully you like this video. Is If yes, hit the like. Uh, consider to subscribe if you are new on the channel. And... Hopefully I'm going to create more videos like this. It depends mainly 
uh, on if anyone is going to watch it. If yes, I am going to be motivated. If no one watch, maybe I won't be. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, for your time. Enjoy your, enjoy your day and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.